Hey, howdy, hey everybody, Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a tail, baby, let's go. <laughs> they added tails to the premium shop. Why? I don't know, but it actually looks pretty good on the fit that I have uh, going on right now. And I'll share the whole setup in just a minute. But we have our very, like, first actual in-game sale for not the game itself, but the premium shop. We got an item in there that is actually at a discounted rate. We're going to go over that in today's video. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video at all, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Every Wednesday, we do a reset stream, which we just finished. And I also do videos daily. So if you guys haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And you will literally be caught up with everything there is to know about the game. Also, look at the little cat petting the little dragon. Love that. All right, let's jump right into it. And unfortunately, it, it literally started raining the second I start recording. So it may look a little gloomy when I'm showing off these items. I do have the live stream where we sh we took a look at them in some broad daylight. But for now, we got to do it in the rain. All right. So premium shop. Yeah, very exciting this week. Now, just for reference, I had about 10,000 moonstones this week. And after buying the stuff I did buy, I'm down to 600. So very expensive shop this week. We got the turning red temple here. Very, very cool house. It is 3,750. So some of the houses in the game are 3,000, some are 3,750. I believe it's because this is an actual like Disney IP building. So, you know, turning red temple is gonna be a more pricey. The roof is really nice color. It's a different color scheme than pretty much anything else in the game, but they may eventually add on some different stuff that kind of resemble the same art style as this one. We'll have to wait and see if this is what it looks like at nighttime. So very cool house. We did get maze, panda ears and tail set. The tail is interesting. It actually wags and like bobs around when you're running with it. It does not come with this outfit. This is the ski outfit that I'm wearing right now. You just get the ears and you get the tail piece, which is actually a back piece. We also got Mulan inspired tool set. I'm going to share these off in a second. There is no special features or anything like that. Unfortunately, what you see is what you get. It's not like the bell bundle where you actually go and like swing the pickaxe and, you know, rose petals fall off. It doesn't do anything like that. Here is what the hourglass looks like. We also have the shovel and it was also like 3750 so very expensive i think this was like 1200 or 1500 it was in that range i wish i could see how much it was but uh, i already purchased it the art princess shade right here is an item that used to be in a bundle and now they piece it out it was like 800 or 850 i think it was like 850 so i didn't have this and i've been buying everything out of the shop for over a year so it definitely is a more rare item so you may consider picking that up. And then at the older items, they also brought back the Disney Parks entry. We got the Adventurers Out There Balloon Basket, the Ice Fountain, and the Incredibles outfit here. Now here is where things get interesting. We have limited time deals. And the Wally bundle is 20% off. Now, the original price is 4,000. If you haven't bought this yet, it should be 3,200 for you. So this is the first time we've actually seen a deal within the premium shop. And it's just for that one. It's not for like the new signature bundle or the Starlight House bundle or even at the Ursula bundle. So it makes me wonder how often they're actually going to mark these down. Is this bundle worth it? I think it's really nice. You get all the items you hear, see here. You get a dream style and it comes with a quest line along with this. The quest line isn't the most fun, but it is new content. It's got a little story, got some character dialogue. And you get this as a hat, like the trash can hat. <laughs> you get the dapper Wally bundle. But like I said, the premium shop is very expensive. You're really going to have to pick and choose what you want to get. Because uh, this is always going to be here. And I feel like if they put it on sale once, they're probably going to put it on sale again. So you'll just have to decide what you want. Lots of options in the uh, premium shop this week. Now, let's go take a look. First off, this new house is slightly a reskin, but not quite as the Mulan house. As you see, it's definitely a similar style. It is bigger than Mulan's house by a little bit. And I think I'm just going to keep it over here in the glade, actually, and expand my little, like, Mulan area. So this is what it looks like from the front. And again, I'm sorry it's raining and, like, dark and stuff. 
Uh, we got like a little lucky panda right here at the door. And then we have like a bunch of like, it looks like, you know, I wish we could have like this item and this item separately, just the place down or even the little panda sign. Like that would have been too cute. The sides are kind of basic and empty. This is what the back side looks like. It's got some windows. Let me scoot it up a little bit. There we go. This is what the back side of it looks like. So it's pretty cool. And then the front is nice. It's definitely fits really nicely with the new like magnolia trees, the little pink ones and stuff. And I do believe I'm just going to expand this area a little bit. Let me switch it to nighttime so you can see what it looks like. Uh, there we go. So it does have just some lights here on the front, but they're very bright. And then of course there's some on the back. The lanterns light up just a little bit. Now, how close can you place items? I actually don't know. Let's see. Okay, so you can get them pretty close. And then say you wanted to do, uh, let's get a bush. We'll get one of these bigger ones. Oh, you can actually put it very, very close. Look at that, up against the building. Very nice. Okay, about right there. Yeah, you can get it pretty much as close as you want to the building itself. So that's very nice. Let's try the new tree. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we're in underbrush. We need trees. Uh, Kind of far away for that one. Kind of far away for that one. And yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to look so good with the, the blue roof and the pink trees and stuff. I can't wait to see everybody's builds with this one. Now, let me go over to the beach. Just the, Actually, we'll go over to the Frosted Heights so you guys can look at... Get some tail action in here. All right, let's switch it back to daytime. Boom. All right, so the tail, it actually bounces around. And you can pair it with costumes. So if you were to actually go in here and go with any of the costumes, actually, you could have a tail with any of them. We got the superhero set. <laughs> it looks so funny. I don't know why they added tails, but very interesting. And then we also have the panda onesie right here. So now you can have two tails if you want. You could double up on the tails. We got Lumiere's outfit with the tail. We got the squid gown. So we have a dress. The pumpkin king with the ears and tail. Let's try a dress. Yeah, let's do. Let's put this on. Dang, look at them guns. Look at them arms. Whew. All right, let's keep that on. And uh yeah so this is what it looks it actually doesn't really clip through the dress surprisingly all right we got to get we got to put some clothes on if that doesn't make you want to subscribe i don't know what does all right but it, in all seriousness it does look good in the red panda ski suit if you have that i think it looks great with my character all right let's see what else did we have shop we also got all oh, the tool set so i have the tool set on and like i said they don't do anything special they don't like glow or anything so if you're a huge fan of mulan and you like this style of items it's it's good it is very expensive though like i said the pickaxe is glowing because i have the elixir on but that's what the pickaxe looks like and if you go and you start mining somewhere let me see i got so many builds everywhere it doesn't do any animation or anything like that, sadly. I wish it did. I kind of feel like all of the Royal Tools should have their own exclusive, like, special animation. Just because they're very, very expensive. And then we have the watering can right here. It is very pretty. And you can actually see the water in it. It also doesn't do anything. It is glowing again because I have an elixir on. Let's see. We got the fishing rod. Uh, It looks pretty good. And then, what else do we have? Shovel? Shovel looks really nice. And then, last but not least, we have our phone. Again, the phones, you can't really see them too much. It has, like, a little flower on it. And then it's, like, all blue and stuff, so it does look pretty cool. Dream Snaps this week is very interesting. So, the current challenge, and I'm actually hyped for this because it's a completely different style than we've ever seen before. It's called Dreamlight Art Gallery. It's a decor challenge. You are formally invited to the opening and creation of your very own Dreamlight Art Gallery. 
curate a collection of paintings, sculptures, furniture, and decor that will have the art critics of the valley swooning. So we haven't really had an indoor submission theme or something you can like, a lot of people are probably going to do indoor submission until this week. So I think we're going to see a lot of those submissions. Here's some ideas of what you could do. Here's some ideas for an outdoor submission too. You could pick a, uh, a statue or something. Me personally, I think I'm going to try and create something around the Lance Slash Blade statue, which is over here, just because it's such a crazy item and making an out, uh, art gallery submission. I don't know how I'm going to do it just yet, but that's what I'm going to attempt. Hopefully I can get it done. If not, we might have to rely on our Eric statue, but room submissions might be a very good pick for this week. It is a cool challenge. Mandatory tags are traditional and elegant. And then lavish and wondrous so pretty cool voting this week we only did a little bit of voting let's see yeah my submission for this week very basic i didn't have time i think a lot of us didn't spend too much time on it just because of the new content the new update and then my reward this week so here was my submission for the sugary one the one that we just got our rankings on this is the submission I have. I did glitch out Bing Bong's Wagon, which is this piece back here to get this rainbow effect right here. They patched this, so I don't think you can do that anymore. It doesn't like glitch out. Then I got Stitch over here in his car, Vanellope on this side. And my ranking wasn't too bad. We actually did pretty good this week. I got, I believe it was like rank 200 and something. And not only did I do well, during reset stream, most of our community did insanely amazing. I mean, top 1,000 submissions for almost everyone that we looked through. So that was incredible. We got 262 over here. Got our 4,000 Moonstones. And we did look at a lot of the top rankings. But we're going to end the video by going over to Discord and just looking at a couple more submissions. So it looks like we have a rank 1 submission by Undertow over here. They got their 12,000 Moonstones. Oh, dang, that is gorgeous. Look how up close this shot is. Love, they also glitched out the Bing Bong's wagon. They got some sparkles, some confetti here. I really love this. Dang, I, I have not seen this yet. We didn't see this during our reset stream. So yeah, rank one submission, amazing job. We also got Alfira here. They got rank 44 on their submission. Oh, that is gorgeous. Love the colors, the pop of everything, amazing. Let's see, is there any more submissions that I haven't looked through yet? We looked through a lot of these. They're just some really incredible submissions. If you guys haven't joined our Discord, make sure that you do. And uh, come over here to the Ranking Dream Snaps. All you have to do is go over to Ranking Dream Snaps and you could just post it here. Here's the tag. So if you want to look at top 100, you can click on that tab, look through here. Uh, here's just ones where players are very happy with their rankings and everything if you feel like you didn't do as well as you thought you were going to do you can click on the rob tab we do have one for playstation over here so you can take a look through some playstation submissions as well or no tags and then just scroll through here uh, we also have dream snaps looks like we have 14 submissions for this week's art decor already now they're probably going to change these up a little bit but let's take a look at some examples here i'm really obsessed with going to art galleries irl so i was very excited about this challenge oh dang and you you came up with this that fast already i'm impressed look at all the paintings and everything okay that is incredible we got dylan already with incredibly high tags all right, we're going to have to do this in a whole nother video. You guys are killing it already. Amazing job. Dang. But that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have the best day. And seriously, I'm proud of everyone in our community. You guys do amazing work. Very creative. And I'll see you guys in the next one.